welcome to another episode of Lawn Dev Dad. Today we're going to talk about stress, those nasty brown spots that you see in your yard sometimes. What causes them and how can you get rid of them? Most of the time it's not just as easy as seeing a brown spot and knowing, oh, it's this. You have to do some exploring and rule things out to be able to determine what treatments. So I want to talk about the various causes and then what treatments I use to try to get rid of these brown spots. So first of all, trying to figure out what caused them. I will often dig in and see if there's you know any bugs or anything going on in the soil. Uh, pulling on the grass helps determine sometimes if it's grubs eating the roots because then it will pull out fairly easily. Um, if you use disease control fungicides, uh, it's usually not disease, but sometimes if you don't put them down frequently enough or if it's really hot and wet, it could be that. Uh, it could be too much water, it could be too little water, so looking at the soil helps determine that. But in general, I'm going to review the different causes and then my program of what I do to try to fix it when I see nasty things like this in my yard. Now that we have seen what causes stress in brown spots, let's look at a few things that we can use to get rid of them. First and foremost, one of the easiest things to do is use fungus control. There's a couple different kinds that cover various different uh, diseases, so oftentimes you have to look at the bag and make sure that it's going to cover the ones that you're looking at. Um, a lot of times I'll use different ones every 30 days just to cover a broader spectrum or in this case, I'm going to use two different ones, one spray and then one granular in the bad spots just to get a broader coverage and hopefully eliminate it if it is fungus related. So one of the ones I use is uh, Disease X. And it covers all of these things. And that I put down with the spreader. And then I also use this Bio Advanced spray here on the hose end, but they also make a granular version of BioAdvanced with the same ingredients. And I'm going to go ahead and just put that down in the backyard where there are not brown spots, just as a preventative. So let's see how that goes.
I generally go about 30 days between my fertilizations. I don't do quite as much as recommended on the bag so that I can do it a little more often. I like the effects of fertilizing more often and not quite as heavily. It just keeps things steadier and you don't have as much growth and lulls in your fertilizing program that way. I do track how much nitrogen I put in each year. I try to do about two and a half pounds in the spring, only about one pound in the summer, and then one and a half in the fall. But right now I'm using this stress blend because I have the, the stress areas in the yard and it's still really hot, it's July. So I'm using this to try to help strengthen things and, and hopefully get these brown patches gone along with my fungicide and other things that I'm doing. The next thing I like to do to try to reduce the stress in my lawn is make what I call a stress cocktail with a couple different things. First I always put an anti-foam in the tank just so it doesn't get all foamed up and make a mess. But the first thing that I like to use is the BioPro Multipurpose Plus. It's designed specifically to help reduce stress and help things recover so it's one of my first things that I like to use when I see uh, brown areas in my lawn. Uh, next, I'm going to put in some Nutrisolve that has miners so that you won't have to worry about any deficiencies when it's trying to recover. And then next, I'm going to use Spoon Juice, which is kind of a combination of the Biostim pack. So it has a little bit of everything. You got humic and you got seaweed and stuff just to try to help with recovery and get things going again. So I put all that in, I fill the tank, and then let's go spray it down. Another thing that can be really insightful if you don't think that it's fungus or anything to do with your watering is to actually dig into the soil. Sometimes you'll find that there's concrete or rocks or pipes or other things or just that it's very compacted and the roots aren't digging down in. But if you take something like a screwdriver or this weed tool that I have and you poke into the soil you should be able to see and then you can actually dig an area out and really get a good look. Like in this area, I kept hitting something pretty hard, so I figured, oh, there's rocks or concrete in there. So when I dug it out, I found all these. And I think that was a contributing factor to why it dried out so quick. You can also use a soil probe to do a similar thing, and that'll give you a snapshot of what the soil looks like in that area. And that can be really helpful to determine what the soil's doing. One last thing, if you think that it has something to do with dogs, going on your yard you can try to put up some signs and hope that your neighbors actually read them and don't let their dogs go on there. I think in my case I have a combination of dogs because it's all right up by the sidewalk. The fact that it's hotter by the sidewalk so things dry out quicker 
and then I did spray some weed killer when it was a little bit hot, so I think all that combined to really just stress these areas out. So there you have it. Those are the things that I do to try to eliminate the brown spots in my yard. Hopefully it helped. See you again next time.